Ooh, started recording. Um, it's the 20th of August today, and um, I'm just off to work. It's running a bit late actually. It's 20 to 9, and um, my first day of the training will be today at 3 o'clock. Now, I'm not going to be able to attend the um, with Alex Jeffries uh, where he talks to you, I think it's via Skype because it's at three o'clock and uh, I'm working today at the salon. Now, um, I have booked out three o'clock from after the 10th of September, so hopefully I'll be able to do all that um, training in a couple of weeks, but I'm a little bit gutted on that. I've just been talking to my uh, missus Uh, how interesting that was um, she's obviously thinking a negative on this because she's saying now I'm going to be missing out on my kids lives um, you know I, I, yeah I, I am but you've got to make sort of small sacrifices um, in your life just so you can get where you are so you can provide better lives for them this is the whole reason why I'm doing this is, is for my children and my family as I said, seven years ago, nearly seven years ago, uh, my daughter on September the 11th was born. Uh, my partner only had three weeks off, which isn't a lot. And um, she went straight back to work. We had to put our daughter with her mother to look after her for a few months until she was old enough to go to nursery. And uh, I just feel a little bit sad because you know, Lisa's done, you know, she's worked hard all her life and she hasn't, this is her first child and you know, now she's at the age now where she can't have any more children and it, it's not really, really fair. You know, I've got two other children as well. I, I haven't seen them grown up, um, which is a shame because that's one thing I wanted to do. I love my kids. And uh, this is the whole reason why I'm doing this. And uh, what really pushed me over the edge to do to do the internet marketing ages ago, when I tried to start doing it ages ago, was when we were sat in my partner's, you know, she was renting a salon at the time, and she's self-employed, and she she burst out in tears. And I said, "What's the matter?" And she said, then I can't, can't take time off to watch my daughter grow up. I can't, I can't seem to, you know, get it right. I can't do this and I can't do that. And there was a lot of can'ts there, you know. There, there was a lot of, um, I cannot, negative points. And I just felt really sad for her because, you know, her, her only child was never going to have any more. And she's missed the most important parts of her life where, you know, our daughter was taking the first steps and so on and so on. Uh, her first words and all this. And it, it is really sad because for any parent to do that, it's, it's, it's almost like a, um, it's almost a kick in the teeth. So, you know, I'm, I'm mainly doing it for her. I want her to enjoy the rest of our daughter's life. Uh, as, as much as we can because uh, she's seven years seven years old she's grown up too quick children grow up too quickly these days and uh, yeah, I've missed out quite a lot on her life as well I, I'd like to enjoy her life and I enjoy little moments that I have with her but she's she's all about her mother so you know her and Lisa intend to um, two peas in a pod basically She's got a little bit of me in her, with her, with her persistent and uh, determination to, to do stuff and you know uh, mannerisms. But she is a mummy's girl, and what I want to do, um, what I want to, I want to free up some time for her and free out some time for me so we can enjoy our kids lives I want to help people as well this was one of the, the other things I want to do I want to help other people do this so 
Uh, I'm going to be signing off now because you know it's, uh, there's a couple of road works down here. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing, and uh, I'll keep you posted.